Hey, and welcome to video number eight. This is the integration into WordPress. So in the previous video, I showed you how to step-by-step -step set up a smart nested one-time offer into your sales funnel. Now let's talk about how to integrate everything into WordPress using a free membership plugin that we're going to give you. This free plugin integrates into Zaxa and creates membership sites just for you and should be included with this course. If not, you'll need to contact your reseller of this course and ask them for access to this free plugin. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a WordPress blog. I'm going to show you how to install the plugin. And I'm also going to show you how to integrate everything with Zaxa so that you can get up and running fast. Okay, so obviously the first thing you'll need to do is set up a WordPress site. And I'm not really going to go into that now because that's pretty easy to do. If you're unfamiliar on how to do that, you'll need to contact your web hosted company. Generally speaking, they'll have a easy route to set up a WordPress site. Just a few clicks of the button will allow you to do that. And once you set up your WordPress blog, what you'll need to do is access the plugin. So go to plugins, go to add new, click on upload because we're going to be uploading the file to your website. We're going to click on choose file as you can see here. So it should be named this file unless the reseller has, you know, changed the file name and stuff like that. But if you click on install now, you click on activate plugin and there we go. So this is a plugin created by Zaxa. And if you click on this, what's cool about this plugin is it'll automatically go ahead and set up all of your membership pages. Now, in order to use this plugin, you will need to have a Zaxa account. So just install the plugin first. You, know, you can create all these pages, click next. And then, of course, I'd recommend that you go and create your Zach's account by clicking here. So, you know, don't worry about any of the setup or anything just yet. Just install the plugin, click here. And then what you want to do, it says to obtain the Zach's API signature, click here, create account, and then it, you'll see the signature. And then what you want to do is just enter that here, whatever that is, and then click next. And then what we need to do is set up the email setup. So you want to put your name. So you want to put your name or your company name. That's fine. Your email address, mailer, it can be, you know, the PHP mail, or it can be an SMTP, which I'm not going to get into, but basically SMTP allows you to use a third party email service and you can integrate that into here. I'm going to leave it as the default settings. Click on email content here. You can actually change the email body. For example, the login credentials of somebody requests their login credentials. This is the email that they're going to get. And you can customize that by using these tags here. So you can just copy these and put them in the email here. If you want to customize it further, you can also notify yourself when somebody requests that credentials and this one here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish here. All right. So once you've installed the script, what you need to do now is to add a product or membership level. Now, one thing you need to note is that this product needs to exist in your Zaxa member account. So you can't just add a product and assume it's going to work. You have to connect it to an existing product in your Zaxa account. So let's go to Zaxer right now. And I'm taking a look at a product. And what we're going to do is pick a front end product. So in this case, we got profits theme. I'm going to copy this over. And I like to keep things consistent so that I know exactly whatever product is over here is connected to a product over in Zaxa. So I'm going to click that here. You can either assign this to a existing page or create a new page. We're going to cl click create one for me. So there we go. It automatically created a new page for the specific product. Now it's going to ask you for the product number slash SKU. So the way you get that is from the existing product over in Zaxa. So if you take a look at this product, it's going to say product number slash SKU. So all I need to do is copy and paste this here over here. 
And then of course we got price number. And then we got ZPN URL and ZPN and thank you page delivery URL. So we get ZPN and thank you page delivery. You need these two items and you'll need it and you'll need to enter that into the product over in Zaxa. All right, so I'm gonna click on save product and there we go. Now you can integrate it so that you can allow anybody with access to this product to have access to other posts, other pages, other categories, other files, and other Amazon S3 files, which you can add to later on. Now, if I go back to that same product right here and click on edit, once I've created the product itself, it's gonna give me the ZPN URL in the thank you page URL. Listen closely because this is exactly where you're gonna to need to enter it. So you're gonna highlight this URL. I'm gonna click on copy. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you need to make sure that you are in advanced mode with Zaxa. Under script integration, click on yes. Under ZPN URL, we're gonna paste that over here. And we're gonna click on save changes. And then of course we're going to go back over here and we're going to grab the thank you URL, highlight everything. We're going to copy it and we're going to go to the page settings under thank you page, product page settings, click the plus sign. You're going to make sure this is a no. You're going to replace this with the URL, click save changes. And that's it. We're good to go. So now, once we're waiting it to save, what we need to do next is go to integration settings. We need to click on order button. And then you want to grab the code over here. Big, medium, small buttons, many different variety of buttons. And then of course, at that point, you want to simply paste it to your sales page. So that way, anytime somebody goes through your sales page, it communicates with Zaxa and it communicates with the WordPress plugin itself. And that's all you have to do. So from this point, you're good to go. You can click on access. If you want to give more product access. You can click on members to add members or look at members, lock members, delete members, stuff like that. You click on reports to get an idea of the engagement as far as you can gauge how well your membership site content is doing and how well your members are you know, engaging with you and more. You got other configuration settings as well, as you can see here. You can do a lot of other stuff like membership page setup. You can do magical content, which is good for drip feeding. And you can also create a raw HTML login form. So you can actually grab this code here. You can place it on this WordPress site here, or you can simply paste it anywhere you like. It doesn't have to be on this site. 